Hello and welcome back to the Tremendous Tully. So, we are still trying to get our son to um, be the next person in line. And it's not looking very positive. This guy has 319 votes. And the problem is, if we kill them, it's not like ours is second in line. Because those 319 votes need to go somewhere. They're just not going to us right now. So, we need to figure this out. So, chances of killing him, naturally, are not that high, but we could potentially do it. We could also switch from the family focus, although that lowers our health and makes us more likely to die quicker, which gives us less time to solve things. But if we switch to something like a an intrigue focus, we could also potentially do something there. But, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to work out how to do this one here. Also, I suspect that the intrigue focus is less strong than it would be naturally. Because um, all of the focuses seem to be lowered down in terms of their potency. So we could potentially do something like that. I mean, even if we could get some vicious rumors spread about him, that would lower people's opinion of him, which should lower his vote. But, yeah, I don't know what we're going to be able to do. So what, where, what does he actually hold? He holds Duskendale. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do with that. I am. I have just reloaded the game, so... You know what I will do? Let's wait a couple months and then we'll see um, how things go when they reload. The other option is that I think when we die... Uh, wait, why is our son Jar... Oh, because we have um, Gavelkind. Okay. I think when we die, um, our son should still get a claim on the Iron Throne. I think. I'm not sure how this no noble oligarchy... Um, like succession law stuff works because it's not a base game thing but i think that how the base game works you should get a claim which means we could then press the claim in a faction which would then maybe change the succession law potentially i don't know anyway uh let's unpause and find out how things are going to go so people are seeking to kill other people we built our castle town in egan fort okay uh, Sir Lauren Farron died a natural death. A replacement must be selected. Ah, it's for a new member of the uh, King's Guard. This person is going to press their claim uh, on Nettlebank in the Iron Islands. Okay. A new member of the King's Guard is needed. Uh, bring me knights from powerful houses. You know what? We'll, we'll go with this Blackwood. Yeah. You're going to be our new King's Guard. Fantastic. He's happy to join. Everything's looking good. Right. How are the votes looking? We're even further behind the second, but first has barely changed. Okay. Hmm. So how are we going to handle this? And who are the... So these two are the Stormlands and the Iron Islands. Then the person above us is the North. Okay. So, why is everyone voting for him? I should have a look at that. So, the candidate score has... I like him. Good diplomacy, good stewardship, good martial. Ours is not that far behind him in a lot of things. Yeah, if we made people dislike him, that would probably work quite well. Hmm. So, how do we make people dislike him? Uh, we could take away Duskendale. That would make a lot of people dislike us. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think I have to switch to the spy focus to do this. I think that's going to be the best way to do things. It does lower our health, and if we die instantly, well, you know, it's karma, but... I think what we want to do is we want to spy on him and see what we can do here. Yeah. Definitely. Or if we get treason charges against him or something, that also leads to good stuff. So, we'll see what we can do. Right. We'll spy on him, and just kind of leave things going. Uh, they say that... Uh, Acranion has escaped from the dungeons of Men of Coldwater and has built a lair in Coldwater Burn. Alright. So we have a dragon which has escaped out, who's two years old. Okay. So where is Coldwater Burn? It's up there. We could go and try and tame a dragon. I'm kind of for it. Uh, unmark there. So where's... Yeah, so you un I'm fairly certain this is how you do it. I've only done it once, so... You know. Give me a second. So I think you do that. You go over to Coldwater Burn. So you actually lead an army in the land where you want to do it. And then you can do interactions with the dragon, I think. 
Lord Theo Blackwood has been a leal and able servant, having completed many tasks in the aid of the Iron Throne. Here is your 48 gold. Right, we need a new commander of the Iron Throne. That's going to be... Benefer, I guess. Right. All the way into Coldwater Burn. So now that we're here... What do we do now that we're here? So, is there something on the dragon that you do, do it on? There's definitely a way of trying to tame a dragon. It's not got any friends, yeah. Face the dragon, that's it. It's, ah, it's being pursued by another character. Okay. Well, we'll wait a little bit. Don't know how long these last. Um, my prints are right on behalf of the Ancient Bank of Karth, where we'll placate him. Uh, still can't face the dragon? Yeah. Okay. We'll wait like another month. So you have to kind of keep checking in. Ah, there's Face the Dragon. Aha! There we go. Face the Dragon in his lair. We gotta try, right? I mean, we're 61. It's, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Face the Dragon. Which dragon shall I face? Well, it'll be a very worrying situation if there was more than one. A Cranian. Okay, slow it down. See what happens. You've scoured the area in search of uh, a cranian. And now you've finally cornered the beast. How shall I deal with her? I will attempt to tame and mount a cranian. You failed to tame the dragon and will now face the consequences. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of thing that might happen, right? Yeah. Um, well, we're not dead. We're just, um, a little wounded. Although I don't know why I did that. What I could have done is I could have just raised troops like that, and that would have been a lot better. Um, okay. Well, attempted to take on the dragon. What What's the conditions for facing the dragon, out of curiosity? It's probably haven't faced it in the last whatever is one of them. Um, so if I do this, set ourselves as leader... So if I now have a look at the dragon, I should be able to see the reasons why I can't face it. Uh, he's being pursued by another character. Yeah, and we have a flag saying we're pursuing a dragon. Okay. That's fine. Um, right. Well, that didn't work very well. Um, votes for our son are stayed exactly the same at 69, and others have got more, unfortunately. Right. Well, there's not a lot that we can do. Oh, I should take away, um... Where is it? Yeah, take away leading armies. Okay. Um, I've discovered that this person could be in factions. Oh, wait. Oh! This is my snoop. Never mind. My snoop's overheard Lord Jocelyn of Duskendale as he told shocking lies about his rightful liege. How shall I use this information? Denounce him, I think? Yeah. Definitely. Denounce him. Give me a reason to arrest him. So I now have a reason to imprison him. No one will care, because he is... Right, perfect. He's raised his flag in rebellion. But now, he is not able to be voted as next person. Uh, Let's see. I just want to raise, like, one large group of troops up to deal with them. Maybe I'll... Yeah, that'll probably do. Right, let's go deal with Duskendale. Speed it up. We'll have Sandor, Lothar... Or Luthor and... Uh, I'm just checking if we need anything else. Maybe Benefer, because he's got uh, the Siege Leader. Right, let's speed it up. You've been studying alchemy recently for the sole purpose of learning everything you can about poisons. You've learned the answers to important questions, such as which poisons are the most potent, which are the most difficult to detect, and how best to guard against them. Hmm. Well, that's very useful information for us. I'm sure at some point. Um, right. My prince, I must ha ask that you humbly intervene on my behalf against the aggression of Lord Reinolf Harlaw. Well, you know what I'm going to do? It's going to go to the council meeting. Um, no, I'm going to vote against you. Right. My leech, believe one of your bastards can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Um, he wants to depose me. I'm going to obligate the vassal. Um, right. A vote to command him to end his war has been taken, and the council voted against it. Okay. 
Honored Lord, thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vassal. You're right, of course, for this foreseeable future, you'll have my promise not to support factions conspiring against you. Seems good. We do have a disease about to hit our lands, which is the Grey Plague. Uh, we'll shut the gates. That's fine. Just need a new leader on that side. One of my commanders has become better. Good. Head up to Duskendale. Um... Yeah, stop spying on, on him, because we don't need to anymore. We can imprison him, and then probably just kill him. The Grey Plague has broken out in King's Landing. Well, good we shut the gates. Um, Need a new commander. Be that guy. And now we're sieging. Maybe isn't the quickest way to get Duskendale. I'm just going to go for their capital, then I'm going to go for their army. Walking alone on the battlements one late one night, you suddenly see a shining white shape appearing on the sky above you. Seems to be moving towards you, or maybe away. There's a strange sound in the air too, like a whispering. What is going on? So I'm become zealous or cynical. You know what? The mother has appeared to me. I have been blessed. I am zealous. Fantastic. At the meeting of the small council, Lord Commander Sander Frey has recommended that Sir Garmund Constain be named a member of the King's Guard. What's this? Refusing marriage. Hmm. Yeah, okay, you can be a member of the King's Guard. You seem like an okay fighter. And he was recommended, which is good. Yeah, seems good to me. Um, oh, and his father really liked that. Good. I like it. We're about to finish the Siege of Duskendale. We inherited King's Landing, which we can hold on to and be absolutely fine there. Ah, we have captured uh, the uh, leader of Duskendale. We now need a new commander. And then we can offer peace and enforce our demands. Right. So he's now in my prison, right? Oh no, there we are. We're going to send him to my dungeon. The, right. Wait, no, he's still in... Wait, whose dungeon is he in? Oh, he's still in that dungeon. Can I say I'd like that person, please? Oh, I must have had to have waited a second or two and he maybe he'd send it to me. I don't know. Your son, Edmund, as a member of the royal family, should be protected by a member of the King's Guard. Um, you can be can, um, protected by a new member. Yeah, sure. Right, disband those troops. So, now how's the vote going? Well, Duskendale's not in it any longer, which is good. And uh, now most people are voting for Clifford Rash of the Stormlands. Okay, well... At the very least, we've managed to push ourselves up to second place, which isn't too bad. With a lot more people voting. Let's try and get rid of this guy next. A spy on him. Right. Lord Paramount Clifford. Let's see how it goes. Um, no, I'm going to keep spying on him. It's only been about two seconds. My bannerman, uh, Lord Ryan of Red, uh, the Fourth of Redwine, tried to. Lord Ryan Redwine IV tried to have Master Victor of Vinetown arrested, but then he gave himself up anyway. Uh, a new Lord Commander of the Kingsguard is needed. Oh, I guess that means that Sander Frey is dead. Yep. How did he die? Of the Grey Plague. Fair enough. Uh, he was leading an army while that was going on. A uh, new Lord Commander uh, is traditionally the most senior and able of the Seven Cloaks. Well, it could be Sir Meryl Mullendor. Um, okay. Well, sure, it's Sir Meryl. That seems fine. And now, uh, bring me the greatest knights. Horus of Highgarden seems very good. Yeah, we'll have Sir Horus of Highgarden be our uh, Kingsguard. Multiple uh, tourney winner. Yeah, seems good. Oh, we need a new advisor. New advisor is going to be... Could be Tom and the, um, the Black Lannister. Or it could be... Uh, you know what? Sure. Oh, no, it's going to be Lucas, uh, Master of, Hal of Harrenhal. Sure, we've had connections with them. That seems good. New commander. Um, that guy. Right. Carry on. Oh, there's a peasant's revolt in Haraway Town. Well... Raise up some men from the Vale, and they can deal with it. Make sure we have suitable leaders. There we go. Uh, there's a great trial at court at Storm's End, where 
uh, Eamon Caron was imprisoned by Lord Paramount Clifford Dun uh, Durandon and stood accused of sedation and conspiracy against the realm and uh, he was released in a show of mercy. Okay. Fine. Oh, we can change where we're walking. Yeah, let's do that. We might be able to catch him. I think it takes a long time to get down from that mountain by the looks of it. I don't know why. But um, it seems to be that it takes a some reason it's just taking a really long time to move between those two provinces. I don't know. And while it takes a very small amount of time to move between these ones. Are they just running the whole way? That is really annoying. Ah, we caught them. Do it. Um, okay. Your uh, vassal master Darnold's been captured by Lord Jocelyn Darkend uh, Darklin of Duskendale and taken to Duskendale as a prisoner. Okay. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, offer peace and force demands. We've now won the Peasants' Revolt. And... Uh, wanted to have a look at what... Oh, we, if we have to choose Execute there, because it's a slightly different Execute. Or we could just banish him. Yeah, let's banish him. Oh, wow, we're making a lot of money. Oh, we're, we're insanely rich. Okay. Uh, I should upgrade to my castle town here. So I need uh, large estates, which means I need the steward's tower. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. Okay. And I should definitely continue upgrading River Run because upgrading River Run um, is something that I can... It's, River Run's going to be something I can keep, so that's good. Well, Benefer and we'll have Harris be commanders. It looks like some people keep being deassigned as commanders. Uh, I wonder why that is. Okay, Clifford, we're going to keep uh, spying on him. Ooh, 113 gold. gold. Fantastic. My prince, I'm pleased to report the latest stretch of road building is complete. The Seven Kingdoms are now binded together ever um, even closer. Your humble servant, Lord Jostin. So, we get the prestige for it. And then the Seven Kingdoms, a bunch of places get River Road, which gives tax modifier, supply limit, and movement speed. All oh, right. So, including River Run. So, is this like a trade zone or... No. Okay. It's not a tr proper trade route. But, ah, but it does get you River Road. Okay, so it kind of leads around... I'm trying to figure out where it leads exactly. Oh, so it, le it leads like that way? Oh, so it's from Lannisport to River Run? Any further? Oh, Lannisport to River Run, then Stonehenge, Leicester, Haraway Town, Harren Hall, Butterwell. Yeah, then into Soul's Horn. Oh, and that's where it ends. So it's from Soul's Horn to um to Lannisport. Well, Lannisport to Soul's Horn. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, at least it's on uh, River Run, so we get that extra. 3% tax modifier, and supply limit, and movement speed, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, we can imprison Lord Aaron of the Whispers. Why? What's he doing? He's excommunicated. I see. Um, I could check how he's voting. Oh, now everybody's voting for Sir Joffrey the Usurper. Um, no. Definitely don't want that. Yeah, do you want to come to my court? <laughs> no. Um, okay. So why is everybody voting for him? Minus 30 is a foreigner. Why is my, my candidate is also a foreigner, apparently? Um, no, you just like him. He's a claimant to the title is one of the main ones. Okay. Well... I would spy on him, but I can't spy on him because he's outside my court. And I also can't kill him because nobody's going to do anything there. Or outside my realm. I could attack Dorne. And then that would allow us to integrate him. Because I think he's hiding in Dorne. He is indeed hiding in Dorne. So if we went to Dorne, we could potentially do something there. Um, Dorne? Mm, I'm trying to think. They probably wouldn't vote with them, but they wouldn't vote with our choice either. How are we looking in terms of troop numbers? We're fairly good. We could definitely beat Dorne, assuming that everyone joins us. 
That's the problem. It's, there's a lot of assumptions that everyone's going to join us here, but... We do have a royal claim on Dorne. Yeah. I think we press it. Let's do it. The Iron Throne is in a state of war. We should send ravens to the Great Lords, rallying them to the Crown's defense. Oh, so actually only the Iron Isles, the Vale, and the Stormlands get, get an option. Oh, so why don't these two? Are they at war? Ah, they're already in a war. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're both already in wars, so they, they don't get options. Same with the North, I'm assuming. No, the North just doesn't get an option, apparently. Well, uh, before it changes its mind, we'll load all of the troops up. I've got one rally point set, don't I? And it's River Run. Hmm. Yeah, that's not great. I'll do my own rallying for just now. So over here, I want you to go to... Try to find somewhere that has supply limit. Yeah, head to uh, Somerset. Everyone over this way. You're going to head down to King's Landing. These guys. You're going to head down to the Grassy Vale. And all of you are going to head to River Run. Then the north. Uh, you're going to head down. Well, you can head down to King's Landing. You'll get there later. Right, go. Uh, there's a war of ironborn independence. Hate that. The Stormlands have joined us. Excellent. The latest section of road for the Seven Kingdoms is complete. Where shall we extend the roads next? Um, Lannisport to Highgarden or the Neck and the Trident? Let's go for the Neck and the Trident. Yeah. So that'll be River Run to the Neck, probably. Okay. Seems good. Justin Tully, we have had enough of your houses. Uh, dominion over the Iron Islands. So henceforth, I shall rule over an independent realm from Black Tide. We shall win this right on the battlefield if necessary. Regards, Lord Paramount Lauren of House Black Tide. Well, that's horrible, but uh, there we go. Um, we got a bunch of people honoring their allegiance. Yep, fantastic. Now, I would open a council, pos I would put people in here for council positions, but if we reintegrate them, then you get an option that's like, like, when the Mega War ends, you get an option, do you want to put the council back the way it is? And, yeah. If we do that, then it doesn't, like, well, then it causes issues. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. And next time, we're at a war with, we have our war with Dorne. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.